Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for Moritz Leo speaking. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to trigger chord jump pads using Cubases. Okay, before I start, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Let's click on add and let's add a MIDI track. And as you see, we have a nice new MIDI track which is empty. <laughs> And we have a nice piano, acoustic piano, by default, which you can see there. Now, let's click on MIDI effects and let's um, select chord jump. Okay, perfect. You can immediately see that chord jump is working. Now, let's select some chord very high here. These four chords, let's enable the pads. Let's select the F5 and press the first pad. G5, second pad, B5, third pad, and C6, fourth pad. In this way, I've assigned four chords to four different pads. Okay, let's go to the settings here. As you can see below, you can decide how different functionality in um, chord jump will respond to either messages cc messages or also via notes and indeed you can find the section for triggering pad one two three etc and you can set each pad to receive a, a cc message to be triggered like in this case cc 40 cc 41 etc or actually a key and i prefer to use a key because it's quite simple and it can be quite precise so in this case to trigger pad one we send each two as a key and so on. Let's close these and let's close chord jump. Now let's double click here to create a region for the acoustic piano, double click again. Now let's maximize this view. Now if you recall you have to scroll down not to C2 because of the way that things are mapped in chord jump but you have to go to starting from C1, therefore, instead of E2, it would be E1. And let's start writing some notes or drawing some notes. So this one first, the second one, like so, and then the last one. Okay, now let's click play. Let's select the loop. So in this way, we can trigger the pads inside chord jump. And um, so it's really straightforward. Now, you could do it also using CC messages. In this case, click here where it says velocity and then find the corresponding CC message. In this case, 40, for example, for the first uh, pad and then use the draw um, tool to actually draw uh, the different messages. And you need to be at the very top one to seven to actually have that uh, uh, pad to trigger. So as you can see, it's very simple. And if you go back, let's close these, let's go back to chord jump. You can actually see the chord being played. And you can see that no notes are played in the lower range, okay? So you're not playing um, chords which are on the lower part of the register or the keyboard. Yeah, because messages are sent to chord jump and those are translated into the right chords which are assigned to the pads because the notes are used to trigger actually the pads. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and now you know how to trigger pads inside chord jump from Cubasis. Thank you very much. Bye.